don't think I've opened one of these in a while, and to be honest, it's been too long. This is the Zen Pop Stationery Mystery Art Box, so it's full of art supplies and stationery from Japan, and it's so cute. I don't know if you're prepared for the level of cuteness inside this box, but I can't wait any longer, so. And I like to do an extra little something when I unbox these and try and create some kind of art or illustration inspired by the contents. Let's jump in and see what we got this month. All right, so first up, we have some literature, coupons, winners of recent contests. This is, I believe, the menu and it lists all the art support. Did I just see a unicorn? I won't look, it's spoilers. <laughs> Although I usually have to look to read stuff because I don't know Japanese, but we'll put it off as long as possible. Are you seeing the amount of purple and pink and blue? I don't know what to grab first. <laughs> How about this thing with the cute little bow? We have some washi tape in a little cute packaging. It looks like it's gonna be unicorns and butterflies and music notes and flowers. <laughs> Sometimes I use the packaging in the art project. But it was glued in. I was like, why isn't the plastic cutting? Isn't that pretty? I think that's what the washi tape looks like. Oh, I love the rubbery feel. Makes me think of fruit roll-ups. Or fruit by the foot, actually. Eek! Do you see the cuteness? It's a little pastel and difficult to see, but I bet like on white paper. That's beautiful. Great start. Next, it looks like a pencil, but... It's mechanical. 0.5 millimeter, one of my faves. I don't know what kind of lead. It's probably HB, but as you can see, it's got a beautiful pastel gradient with the unicorns on it. I am sensing a theme. There's another one. This looks like a notepad. Dear my unicorn, with more pastel blues, unicorns, gummy bears, roller skates. There's some cute cutout versions of the notepads with unicorns. A unicorn named Lucky. So lucky, she's a star, but she cry, cry, cries, and you're lonely. Moving on, there's a second set of washi tape. So we say, we say, we say. Looks like it might just be airbrushed pastel cloud texture. I think it's the same texture as the background there. Reminds me of like the inside of my shoes growing up. I feel like they had that color. But it's a very fun, a little harder to see when it's open because it is transparent. A lot simpler than the other one. I think those look really nice together. That's a really good uh, combo. Next up, we have this, what is this? An empty container of nail polish. I'm wondering if it's maybe like a pencil sharpener. Let's find out together. Oh wait, it's a marker. <laughs> The pastel manicure marker. Time for your manicure. Manicure. What the frick? It's full of lots of sparkles. You'll get one of two colors. Neon pink or mint. We got the pink one. I think that'll probably come in handy for our illustration when I need art supplies. I like to try and use as much as from the box as possible. Sometimes I have to go outside the box, which is totally fine. This is really reflecting on camera. So let's take care of this. We have some gorgeous aquatic pastel stickers. Oh, they're like jelly. Got like fishies and seashells and dolphins. They're very unicorn colored. <laughs> they fit the theme of the box, even though they're not unicorns. Next up, <gasps> it's a little baby. Is this a pencil topper or just an eraser? Unicorn and Pegasus eraser. Looks like we got the unicorn. Ah, the tail fell off. Her butt's naked. It kind of looks like all the different colors are a different part. It's so small. I love the little legs. So I'm guessing if you have the other one, you can like switch out the pieces maybe. Ooh, I don't like the way that looks. Oh, and the body's two pieces. It's a little puzzle. My friend growing up had a miniature horse and this reminds me of her. Stick that right here. How do you use erasers when they're that cute? I had a hard enough time using this one, which came in a previous Zen Pop box. And you're supposed to use it to make it look like Mount Fuji, but mine just looks like a hard boiled egg that's gone bad. All right, next up, is this a car? Doesn't really fit the theme. I mean, I suppose the fishes don't really either, but they're like glittery and galaxy looking. <gasps> Does this clean up eraser shavings? I usually just, there's little rooms. So as you, what even? <laughs> we need some eraser shavings. It's supposed to sweep them up into the back dustbin. Oh, just pull it down. Well, it caught a few. A little gimmicky, but oh my gosh, how funny is that? It's kind of noisy. I'm getting distracted. Next up, I see a little stationary letter set. It's got unicorns. Of course. The envelopes are purple with pink unicorns. The paper's white and lined with unicorns. And it looks like there's some kind of card in there that's 
like a pastel turquoisey blue. So that's the envelopes, purple ones. They have like a white square on the back for writing an address, I'm guessing. Here's the letter pad for the paper. There's a few stickers for sealing the envelope. They're clear. And then they have like a silver unicorn or like a cute little phrase. And then there's three blue envelopes. So we got three purple, three blue, and then I just realized there's rainbow. Those are rainbows. How cute. I love the pink, purple, blue combination beautiful. I like this box a lot. It's so cute. It's like right up my alley, as these boxes usually are. There's one more thing. Da -da -da. The number two Coco Uo Beetle Tip Soft Color. Dual color. There's blue and then there's yellow. Looks like you could have gotten other colors, but we got the blue and the yellow. So it looks like as you draw, oh my gosh, it's like a highlighter. It draws in two colors. That is the last thing in the box, so we can move this cute little box out of the way. Try her out. In the actual nibs, they remind me of Portal. If you use it straight down, you get a. F oh, you can't even see that. Use it straight down, you get fine point. Otherwise, you have to use it at an angle and get one color at a time. But it's super handy if you're like studying or in class and you had to switch between two colors. Look how fast. Look how fast. The colors don't quite fit in to my little theme here. If it was more of a yellow instead of orange, I think it would work. We might still be able to find a way to use it. Let me surround myself by the cuteness. See if I miss anything important. This unicorn themed pack is filled with fun and sparkly good times. The way that's written makes me want to read it like I'm doing like a Skechers commercial for kids. We've been dreaming of this special collection for so long. And finally, our dreams come true. This unicorn themed pack is filled with fun and sparkly good times. Let's party together. Let's party together. <laughs> All right, so obviously I need to draw some unicorn themed things. Unicorn princesses, I don't know. Let's just start sketching with that pencil. Then I'll probably end up grabbing like some other colors. Cause I don't think these three colors are gonna quite cut it. Let's just go ahead and start doing that then. We're definitely gonna want some purples, some blues and pinks. I think I wanna look up like references of horses, but let's see what happens first without. That way I can compare them and see my progress. I never drew ponies growing up. It's not a unicorn if it doesn't have a horn. It's requiring a lot of concentration, clearly. Let's do nice swirly hair. Oh, we didn't swatch this guy. I kind of wish the marker was on this side, but I guess you'd have less room for the ink barrel. Like, that's what my brain wants to do. Not... Like, when would you ever do that with actual nail polish? <laughs> Ooh, that's more like a rose color. That's really pretty. that with the white oh that's beautiful what about with like some blue larum you'll get purple definitely gonna avoid the orange though i do want to reference though so i want to draw a good looking unicorn start with like horses and then maybe we'll simplify it from there i'm like no horse girl but i appreciate them that's for sure Ooh, that's a good reference of the head so it looks like their heads are flat on the front, then uh, the nose is like here, mouth is about here, chin kind of comes out this way, connects to here, where there's an ear, back ear, more lower, then the eyes like here-ish, nose was here, there's a big thick neck. I love everything about this with like the flowers, have you seen these? Hey. Pick this up a little, can't see it. Get that eye shape right. Bit of like an eyebrow and the nose their mouths are really weird and i don't know what i'm doing there i also shortened the head a little because it ran out of space that eye is massive that looks like the worst drawn charizard luckily it's a horse they could need a better reference well, here's a white horse so i can kind of see the features a little bit better i'll just slightly erase this so it's not like Wait, and I don't rub my hand all over it. Find the shapes, essentially, is like our first goal. Well, there's like this whole mouth nose area. Kind of droops a little on the front. And their nose nostrils are, they like fold this way. Then there's like a piece here. This should be all dark. And the eye ends up up here. Okay, so that's like the eyebrow. The eye would be here. So the other eye is behind that and you won't be able to see it. They have really big eyes. Woo! Mostly pupil. It looks like their head actually comes out a lot more up here. Main, main, main. 
It's like this, but then there's like extra flesh up here. I guess this is probably where the horn would come out. See, if you just simplify things, you can draw anything. There's more of a shape like this. And then this is more like this. <laughs> I'm getting giddy. What is this? This looks so good. Probably add a line here so that I can kind of see the 3D structure a little bit better. I kind of want to draw over this because I don't think it's necessary. Why don't I take that and what I learned from that and draw over top and see if anything has changed. So basically there's this section back here that's like the back of the head. And you have this which is the jaw. It kind of juts out in its own way and then you have the mouth area. It sticks in in the front and comes out in the back sides. This piece comes up like this. This that goes down to like here. Here-ish. That would mean the eye should be right around here. This comes up this way. Not sure about the neck because this perspective doesn't really show me where the neck comes out of here. <laughs> that doesn't look right. But anyway, this comes up like this and that's about where the ears are supposed to be. like it a lot better. This nostril's a little high. If I connect these dots here, I think it would end up being about here. Let's make it a unicorn. It. Wait. Like that. Find another reference, like the head. See where that actually is supposed to come out of. I think it's right here. I think we can pull this line up here too. Shows like the muscle structure. I almost think that should be about this too. Looks like a horse to me. Well, unicorn. Just add a little bit of a mane. Maybe it comes around the back side. Ooh! Do you ever get like when you feel like you're learning something that's like the most exciting and exhilarating moments? I wonder if we could use like the washi tape. Let me try something. Where's that? Let's just follow the sketch. Ooh! I've never had washi tape that was this see-through, so it works perfectly for this. It'd also be cool as like skin of the unicorn. Scraps over there, cause they're still pretty. Makes me want to do one of those washi tape art challenges. I didn't realize it was this easy. I thought it was gonna be something that was like really difficult. But if you have the right washi tape, I just got that see-through and then you can see the sketch underneath. Now how does it like connect? I feel like they have really low kind of torso areas. I'm not gonna just take up this sketch with you. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to zoom in. See in your Okay, now do I want to try and simplify it a little bit more? Or do I want to keep it in this like style I've already got going here? Definitely gonna use this for color inspiration. This might be a more inspo. I really like the idea of the like floral because that seems to be a theme with a lot of these horse photographs is like floral and horses. Let me try thumbnailing something small. They're a little unicorn. However, their bodies work. I have not drawn any legs yet. Oh, word. What about a really long horn? <laughs> Looks a little bit more like a deer in the back. I want like stars up at the top. So maybe like a flower. Yeah, a flower crown would be cute. Just have to figure out how to draw a horse's body. And I think this would work. So this is a sketchbook. I'm just gonna go all in and draw in here. If it doesn't turn out, just turn the page. Maybe the head here -ish. Eye, eye, mouth. Thing. Probably should have sketched the rest of the body first. Not working. Let me try and make fit it on the page. And then take what I know about drawing the head, pull it in here. Should we like pull one of the legs up a little? That's kind of cute. Like the neck's not long enough. This is kind of a similar angle as that. Take those lines, use them again. The neck's too short for the size of the head. Or make the head smaller. Head's not too bad. Not sure what I'll do with the hair yet. I kind of liked that little swirl. The hip just seems a little too squishy. Doesn't have the like leanness. I think that's kind of what makes horses look very majestic. Is just the fact that like how does something like that exist? And why is it so strong and powerful? And this looks a little pudgy. I'm not gonna give up on it yet. I just want to like point that out. Probably slim everything out. I also haven't drawn the body before. I've only done the head. It's gonna take a while time here. I'm actually using this reference of a statue because it's in an angle that I want to draw. So it's not the most realistic thing. And I think it's actually a little pudgier than horses. So that's probably attributing to the problems I'm having here. 
push that further into the background. Helps me see it a little better. I haven't had this lead break yet, and I'm usually breaking mechanical lead like crazy. I'm liking that. This is too short. I don't know if I can move neck over. Maybe if I just shrink it down. Slim it out, it'll look smaller. Their knee, ankle, down here. Then the hoof. I've yet to figure out what shape that is. Back leg, ankle thing. Hey, a little uh, inwards. Just needs to... I think I'm learning something there with like the shape starts wide, gets a little skinnier, then there's like the knuckle. <laughs> then it's skinnier again and gets wide again. Thing back here, this somehow connects to the hoof. That's the part I'm a little confused about. Push that into the distance. I mean, it's horse-like. I think the head's too big though. I'd have to redraw that, which I'm not too worried about. Dang, horses are hard to draw. I remember trying to draw one as a kid and just being completely overwhelmed. Just chiseling away. Still too short. I think that's her. You know what? If I move this leg further this way, maybe it'll look like they're standing angled. I draw a square back here. It'd be something like this. So it looks like I need to pull this leg down. A smidge should be here. Then this leg should end up right here. Does that twist it a little bit more, maybe? I don't like how spread out it looks. Maybe if I moved both these legs forward? Maybe right here. Try it out. It's a little less twisted looking. It's still an improvement on what we were at originally. <laughs> Just try and shrink the head down a little. Do I want the mane to come down this way? What do we think about this? I want it to be like short up at the top so it's like a mullet and the horn will poke out of that. And then it gets longer as it comes down this way. Maybe the mullet doesn't work. His tail should come around a little bit more forward. I think the head's still too big. Just try and redraw it a little smaller. It looks pretty good, so I'm a little nervous about that. Yeah, the whole head needs to come down. Now we have more room for a longer horn, too. Which neck should have gone up a little. Oops. Pull this shoulder down. Okay. Nostril, nostril. It's supposed to be turning its head, so the neck would be lower on the head. It's time for some main action. I don't really like this one anymore. Then we want stars up here. Fit it into like a circle shape. All the stars outside that can go. Little ones back to the main. Maybe if I just skinny up this, probably actually is helping. A bit more horse-like, right? That's working. What about the hair? Make the eyeball a little smaller. I think whatever I need to do next is what I'm gonna have to do next. That made no sense. I think in this circle I could do in that washi tape. Then we'll have a white horse with some colored hair of some kind. Some pink and blue, I'm thinking. What I might do is just start doing some line art. Grab my kneaded eraser. And we'll see where this takes me. What would be fun for the liner is one of those pencils that like slowly changes color. Or like changes color as you use it, so it's like rainbowy. Can I use like a really dark purple for the hooves? That would probably work. That's P2. Where are my Ohu markers? That's too red. That's P1. That's way redder. Let's go over this with something darker if I need to. Hooves! Done! I should just use my purple pen for line art. This guy, it's the Paper Mate round stick grip in purple. But it does bleed with alcohol markers, so if I'm gonna do that, it will have to be last. I would like a light pink. Oh, you know what might work? Those Ohu pens. These guys, I don't know if they sell these anymore. They're kind of ancient at this point. There's like a purple. These I can use with the markers on top. So then we'll be able to erase more before we put markers on it. And since most of this is white, I would like to erase as much as possible because the graphite is going to muddy up any markers we put on, especially pastels. Let me try erasing where those legs are. See if it cleans up any better. Like this pinkish white marker. It's a little bit of shading. But I do want it to be mostly white, so maybe something a little lighter than that. Pink barrel. Interesting. Just so it's not like white white, you know? Oh, this little knee should have been higher. I'm gonna, I don't know. <laughs> don't look at that. We'll just add the line art everything else. And then we'll come back. Another leg down. Just erasing as I go. 
I liked the sketch. I always like the sketch. I just love seeing all the possibilities and the multiple lines and everything. It tells a story that line art never could. <laughs> Trace is the most important part. Ah, it's not going so bad. But ah, it's scary. Ooh, that looks all right. They all seem to have butt dimples, so. Adding that. Gonna erase what I can here and color in the horse section with our two pink colors. Oh, we have pinkish white and pink barrel. For the front areas, I wanna use a lighter pink. Just kind of round it off, make it look less flat. Use the darker pink for inside the ear and shading that back ear. Maybe inside the nostrils, a little bit around the eyes. Here we go, got our little pink horse. Now the hair, the hair, the hair, the hair. What do I do about that? Didn't really plan out the color scheme, but I do like the pink, purple, blue idea. Should I use the markers they provided? That seems like the better idea. This mane is so voluminous. Got a little mane. Then just do the back tail. I'm glad I didn't go with black line art. I like the soft pastel look that this purple is providing. Doesn't look like all my other art, you know? I tried to make a conscious effort to keep specific hair strands that follow all the way through so that I can like alternate colors. Because so once you add like a highlighter or an alcohol based marker of any kind on top of graphite, it seals it and you can't really erase it anymore. Start with the blue. Just find a strand and follow it all the way down to the end. Kind of hard to get a point without getting the orange. Kind of hard to see where I'm drawing with this because it's got such a thick nib. Luckily, I don't think I'll have that problem with the pink one. Nail polish. I like this color. It's not like my normal pink highlighter. It's more reddish, but I do want to take the blue, fill in some more areas so we get purple. Kind of wishing I used Copic markers. It's from this box, so I feel like it's fair to just use this, right? Even if it doesn't look its best. Okay, I take what I back what I said about this highlighter. I really like holding it like this. And you wouldn't be able to do that if they did it like a real nail polish. Got some purple in there. Blend that out. It's not pastel enough. So I think for the tail, I'm gonna try my own thing and see if I like it better. And they won't match, but I sketchbook my rules, man. Yeah. Tender pink and like a blue. That's what I'm thinking. See the difference? It's a subtle difference. It just looks a little cleaner. Darken up the hair in the background. Just the way they layer is prettier because I think that's water-based. Need a little bit of shading though under the tail. I'm gonna take our darker pink of the pastel pinks. And then right back here. And then I think I want some purple in here. Ooh! This will work for the, like the end of the nose because I wanted it to be a bit grayer. And I think this will do it without being too gray. So it's like just a color change in the coat. And maybe a little shading. I'm going to use rounded shapes to kind of give it a softer, rounder appearance. White. Happy. With this. <gasps> Definitely like this tail better than that. Mane? No. I want to do is add the washi tape back here. Do I want to use the unicorn washi tape? Or do I want to like alternate? This is a bit bluer and that's a bit pinker. I think I want to be able to make the stars white. I'll just go with the one without the unicorns. We'll just have to let these guys in. Cut it straight for now. Save a little. Never know if I'm gonna need it at the end. Oh, I'm glad I went with this color. Look how cute. getting a little tricky down here. I'm not sure what to do with all those leaks. So many cuts. All right, so I've laid down all the wash tape. Now I just have to cut out the shapes. Start with the outside edge of this unicorn. Won't have to be perfect on the first pass. Let's see if I can peel some up. Ooh. My favorite part, peeling away the excess. Those small spots are a little trickier, but so much more rewarding when you peel it. I just like how it's like colored on the unicorn and then when you lift it, it becomes a white unicorn. I said it becomes a white, it becomes a white. It becomes a white unicorn. Oops, I cut into the paper a little bit there. Might have to just put a little scotch tape. These little spots that have like a little white, I think I'll just go over it 
like it was meant to be. Be careful when you start a new piece of washi tape because it's easy to heal it up. You can also cut out some of the stars, like the big ones. Wow, look at that edge. I honestly kind of like the little edge on it, but I'm gonna stick to the plan with the circles. Okay, I'm really digging washi tape as an art medium. It just looks so cool because it's like a pattern. <gasps> Wowzy. I wanna try with a white gel pen first, see what those kind of stars look like. And then I want like the bigger ones to be cut out. This washi tape honestly has a little dots, which only add to the sparkle. We missed the leg. It doesn't look that bad because it's in the distance. Vary the sizes of the sparkles. Try one of these big stars. Have to find a way to peel it up. Yeah, that sticks out a lot better. And just draw a big star here. Look like they're part of the same theme. <gasps> wow, this looks cute. I want to put a little scotch tape over this little area. This purple is almost the same color as this. Can I like color over it? Maybe try a darker purple for shading. If it adds a little. This was so fun. And it turned out the first horse, the last horse. A little improvement there, I'd say. My hair blends in a little bit with the background. I can try to go around it with the white gel pen. I don't know if that's making a difference. I gotta send a big thank you to Zen Pop for sending this box my way. I had a lot of fun with it and I love the theme. If you're interested in getting your own Zen Pop stationery box, I will have links in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my little uh, horse drawing journey. And I'll see you guys all next week. I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!